Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we've got Gunslinger Calf Rig Suicidal. Today it's Monday. It's Monday today. And, uh, boy, do I have, uh, do I have stuff to talk about for, for this past weekend. It was, uh, it was an exciting weekend. So we got, I got, I got topics lined up, man. And, uh, the first one that we're going to be talking about is, uh, I talked about it. A little bit recently, but uh, North Nine, a YouTuber that I watched, was having a, uh, a child, and I talked a little bit about my views on uh, on children and having children personally. And I want to I want to touch back on that because a lot has happened in the last <laughs> weekend. Um, that that's kind of changed my perspective on it a little bit, to be honest with you. Um, just just a little bit. Uh, but over the weekend, I had the time to. You know, start paying attention to Northern Lion's Twitter and see how the child was going, and and uh, he he's been making videos again, so he's been recording, even though the baby's like you know at the time five days old or something like that. He was still finding time to record, and boy did he seem did he seem a little bit out of it, <laughs> which is you know fair. But uh, regardless, you know we've been having some some live content, some some content and and uh, anecdotes and and all kinds of uh, of goodness coming from it, right? And for me, it's it's the first time I've I've seen this kind of, you know, just stream of consciousness from uh, from somebody who's 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 recently had a child. And you know, I've, I have friends who have children. I've I have friends who didn't have children when I met them and have children now. You know, have gone through that whole process. And uh, but but for me, it's the first time I've been so not involved because like I'm not involved. I am I am as far separated. As I possibly can be, you know. I'm, I'm even like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even the kind of person who's like leaving Twitter comments, being like, "How's the baby?" Because I just, I mean, a, he, he, he said, he said it. You know, he, he's posting pictures. Like you can see how the baby is. He said it's fine. I'm not gonna ask him how the baby is. Uh, and then B, like, I, I don't think that he's gonna care either. So I'm like, I'm like, it's just, it doesn't, nobody, nobody cares if you ask how the baby is. It just, it doesn't matter. Um. So like I'm I'm really I'm, I'm as far removed from being involved with the child as I as I possibly can be, but um, like it's it's the first time I've been so engaged I guess with uh, with 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 a newborn child you know I I normally just don't care, and uh, this time for some reason I I did care I cared to to see how uh, Have you checked your I wanted to see pictures I wanted to see you know all the things about it and and. And see how it was going. You know, I'm I'm interested in the uh, in the process of, ri of raising this child, which is is weird because it's like you know this, this YouTuber's child, and uh, that that's weird, right? It, it's weird to be interested in it, right? I mean, it's not weird to be interested in it, but it's it's weird that that can happen, right? Um, but it's it's the first time I've been so interested and engaged in. Uh, I don't know if engaged is even the right word. Because again, I'm like I'm like I'm as far removed from the baby as I possibly can be. I'll probably well, I won't say I'll probably never see the child ever. Cause I probably will eventually see the kid. I don't live far away from them, so like you know, there's there, there's there's a high possibility chance that like I'll see that kid at the grocery store in like 20 years or something. You know, like I'm not, I'm not gonna see, I'm never gonna see the person, but like you know, like I'm not I'm not involved at all with the with the raising of the of the child. Saying saying engaged or involved, it just gives the wrong meaning to me, I think. But um. I'm interested and I'm, I'm following along kind of thing, you know? And I've never done that with a child before, like... When my friends had children, I, uh... I would, uh... Down you go. Not, be, not be interested. <laughs> it's, it's, like, you know, y y your friends are excited about it and that's that's good. You know, you're gonna be respectful and you're gonna be like, Hey, that's really, really cool, you know, good for you, congratulations. You know, how's it going? You guys all doing alright? Blah, 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 you know? And, uh, you're gonna, gonna you know, be your respectful kind person that, that, that you be and that's that's why you're friends and stuff and you know you genuinely care. But I never cared like, you know, when when they showed pictures or, or whatever, you know, I I played along to to a certain extent, but you know, I'm also not the kind of person who's gonna pretend to care about your baby pictures. Like I I, I just I don't care. Uh, I'm not gonna be like, yeah I don't really care about seeing your baby pictures and be like, oh wow that's cool. Yeah. I'm I'm not I'm not gonna like be rude about it, but I'm not gonna like be like, oh hey, show me your baby pictures. You know, I just I don't care. Um, but 
you know, I go to I go to Northern Lions feed every day to, to like check out the the pictures of Luna, you know, and and I don't know why, but I'm but I'm like so much more in, like interested in uh, in this child than I've ever been in any other child, and it's 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 a weird feeling, and uh, you know, I was always on the fence about having kids personally, and I'm not saying that this is this is this experience is, has has changed me. Because like I'm not the one that had a kid, it's not really a life-changing experience for me. You know what I mean? Like it's it's not um, that huge of a deal for me. But um, you know, being somebody who was always on the fence about about children, being like, yeah, I can kind of go either way. I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of feeling like I lean more towards pro baby at this point. But you know, I'm I'm literally physically incapable of doing that. So <laughs> there, there there's a problem on on that front. Um, but uh, yeah, I uh, it's 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 a strange feeling. Cause I've never I've never in my life felt like I wanted a child, and and nowadays after having seen Northern Lion go through this and 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 seeing, I mean, how not fun it can be, but like it's just it's cool to see the the child. Then it looks so much like uh, like their parents and. You know, the parents seem to be having, like, fun with it, and everybody's excited about it, and it, it's generally speaking a pretty good thing, and, and Northern Lion's, you know, still recording five days after the baby was born. You know, and I'm just, I'm just, I'm like, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's a, maybe it's a better experience than I thought, but, like, I can't ever do that, is, is the other thing. So it's, it's like, I, I guess what I'm saying is I've never felt bad about not being able to have kids. Um, you know? But it's it's starting to kind of hit me, you know. I always talked to to my trans, you know, peeps, and and they'd uh, they'd oftentimes be like, yeah, you know, it kind of sucks that, uh, you know, we don't we don't have the the parts necessary to, to bear a child. So I'm like, what do you what do you, what do you mean? It's amazing. <laughs> it's 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 awesome that that's not a possibility. Um, there, there's no possibility of accidents, you know. Um, but. Uh, I kind of, kind of, kind of feel it, you know. I'm not, I'm not super pro baby, but I'm, I'm kind of, I'm more on the fence than I was before. You know, I used to be on the fence, and I was kind of like, yeah, it's probably not gonna happen. Now I'm on the fence, and I think I'm, I think I'm firmly on the fence. You know, it's, uh, it's been, it's been a strange experience for me. Uh, I'm sure for, for, for you know, both Northern Lion and Kate, it's been an even more strange experience. You know, considering they're the ones that had the baby. Um, but yeah, it's just my first time being so interested in. And, uh... Who is this mysterious monster? Yeah, it's my first time being so interested in a, in a child. I've, I've never cared before, and, and now I care. And I, it's, it's, a, it's a totally different experience from, from not caring about the child. You know, it, it, it really is. And... I don't know, I, I think I could do that one day, you know? If, if, I, if, I, if it were possible, but it's not, so I, I won't. But, um... Now that's and it's like, you know, adopting a child is, is, is one thing, right? I always thought that I would adopt a child anyway, even if I ever wanted a child. I, I talked about that before, but it's just like like seeing them have the child, and then uh, see, I wanted to get hit by that. I'm not sure why, but like I saw it coming at me. You might have saw me move directly into it. Like I tried to literally get hit by it. Something in my brain was like, "You have to get hit by this one. If you don't get hit by this one, then the world will end." I was like, "Get me hit." Uh, whatever. It's 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 just it's it's been a weird it's been a weird experience for me because uh, I didn't think that uh, that Northern Nine like some some random YouTuber he's not really a random YouTuber but some some YouTuber that I watch having a child would uh, would change my perspective on on children to to such an enormous degree but it kind of has and uh, it's it, it's 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 a really bizarre feeling for me I don't really know how to explain it so much because like part of me feels pathetic because I'm like yeah some some dude I watch on YouTube had a child and now I'm like I want a child too but you know it's also not really what I'm saying so I guess it's fine but it's um yeah I just I don't know maybe a child one day could be uh, could be in my future it's it's uh it's 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 uh, it's weird feeling uh bad about about not being able to, to physically have a child cuz what am I stuck on because I never had that before, you know. I always uh, that was always a feeling that I never got. And now I now I do. So basically, what I'm saying is, Northern Lion having a kid has really just made me feel bad. Why did he have to do this? 
I'm kidding, of course. Um, yeah, it's weird, right? Because um, you, as a, I, I'm sure that he knows how much of an effect he has on people, but like, you know, can you ever really know how much of an effect you have on people? Like, I'm sure you know he affects people, right? But like, I don't think I don't think people can ever really know how much of an effect uh, you have on somebody or on on people around you and people that uh, are involved in your life, just because like. I'm not gonna say small things, but like, you know, any little thing can really change somebody's uh, perspective on on whatever that thing is, you know. Just just the way that you you, you handle yourself around the situation of, of anything can can it really affect how the people around you kind of view that thing, you know? It's, it's all kind of a I don't know, it's a big loop, <laughs> you know. Kind of this feedback sort of uh, thing here, right? Negative feedback or whatever. There is, there is, i.e., I, there is no like screeching. It just gets better and better the more you go. Anyway, um, so we always get positive feedback and then like negative feedback, like with, with regards to like electrical kind of uh, audio stuff. That's gonna mixed up a common problem but positive feedback is when it gets uh when, when you when you talk into microphone and you get that like horrible screech negative feedback is when you talk into microphone and then all of everything disappears because like with the positive feedback you're getting like extra stuff and then with the negative feedback you're like losing stuff you know hence positive and negative anyway yeah it's kind of uh it's kind of shifted my perspective a little bit on uh on children seeing them have this child and it's made me feel bad that I can't ever do that, and it's just it's 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 a bizarre feeling to have because I never I never thought that uh, you know I would feel bad about not being able to have a child <laughs> ever, and I'm not like you know crying about it. it. It's you know this 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 is my life. You know, hello, it's fine, um, but it is uh it is, it is a new emotion for me that I didn't think I had before, but I definitely do. And uh, it's it's hard it's hard for me to explain it, but it's um just it's just weird, man. It's 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 weird. I didn't think that that I'd uh, that 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 uh, that that North Nine having a child would 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 make that much of a difference in my life. I I thought that I was like like I was always interested in it. I was always, I was always excited about it, about the the idea of uh, him having a child and and seeing how. Uh, he was going to go through it and see how he was affected by it and then getting all the new you know anecdotes and 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 all this kind of stuff coming from it because that's all really really cool right so i was always kind of excited about it from that front but i never i never thought that it would it would it would, it would affect how i personally view having a child like in my personal life and it's just uh it's weird <laughs> it, it's really really weird because, I don't know, I, don't, I, don't, I really just I don't know how to explain it. I don't know how to explain it, but it's uh, it's really shifted my, my perspective on it. Which is very unexpected. Very, very, very unexpected. Yo, I, I really just, I love the new Hans skin. The Dr. Hans, what is it? It's uh, Dracula, Hans Kula. I was gonna. Well, I have to say Voldemort. Dracumort. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Uh, okay. Stop experimenting. You know, you'd think by now you'd have some functional stuff. Why can't I shoot? It's just uh, it it, it has been fun though. I've been um, you know, looking at all of their baby pictures and stuff and. Seeing, uh, watching their Twitter and stuff, and I don't normally use Twitter, so it's weird for me to be going to Twitter in the first place. But it's been uh, it's been fun seeing all the baby pictures, and uh, you know, especially the the you know immediately post baby pictures, because you could like see you know Northern Lion or Kate kind of just dead in the background, which is uh, kind of funny to a certain extent. Um, you know, for me, not necessarily so much for them, but. That's the benefit of being so removed. Um, but it's been an exciting experience, and I think that's why it's it's affected my 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 view on it. You know, there there hasn't really been any negativity surrounding it at all, and uh, it, it's kind of it's kind of 
shown it in a, in a more positive light than I'm used to. You know, when, you, when you're on the internet so much, you know, people everywhere, parents everywhere are always like, oh, you know, kids, you love them, but my God, they suck, you know, and everybody's always like super negative about it. And, uh, you know, even, even, even like people who I talk to on a regular friends and stuff or are, are saying the same kind of stuff, you know, where they're like talking about it and like, oh, you just you cost me my parents, you know, like, like everybody I speak to has always been negative about it. You know, and uh, they're they're always talking about how uh, you know, it's been a rewarding experience, but man, it's it's just it really sucked. You know, it takes up all my time. You know, I've uh, you know people talking about how much weight they've had to put on since then because they just they don't, you know, they really let themselves go and like, like obviously I know like I've I've always known that like you know there, there's a certain like degree of just be better <laughs> to it. You know, um. But but when you when you never look at when you never see a child when you never see having a child as a positive experience because everybody around you kind of portrays it in a negative light you know they're like well it kind of sucks up until they're like an adult and then it's cool um, it's just kind of like uh, it makes you not like kids so much and then and then when you see it in like a positive light <laughs> it's like maybe it's not as bad as I as I thought you know and. Uh, Maybe, maybe having a kid one day could be kind of cool, but, uh, you know, like, again, I can't, <laughs> is the thing. I, I physically just, just can't, you know, even if, even if I was like, uh, you know, I didn't necessarily want to be the, uh, biological, you know, mother figure in the factor, like, I just, the possibility of having a child is, is gone. <laughs> there is zero chance. Um... Anyway, uh, it's it's kind of it's kind of portrayed in a more positive, exciting light, and uh, that's that's something I've never experienced before. You know, it's always been uh, a fun experience. You know, for for everybody who I talk to about having a child, you know, they they always ultimately say that it was something that they're happy with, something that they're really really happy, the most rewarding thing they've ever done. Blah blah blah. blah you know, however the the parents want to you know blow it up into probably more than it really is, but. You know, they they, uh, they also kind of blow it up into, like, this huge negative thing, too, right? Where they're like, oh, it was so much work, and you know, we never got any sleep, and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, why did you do that again, then? <laughs> like, what, what are you doing? Um, and uh, seeing it in a more positive light, and, you know, obviously, like, when they're talking about, like, being tired and, and hungry and how much how much work it is, but, like... At the same time, they're they're still on Twitter. They're, they're, he's still recording videos. He's still doing stuff, you know. And I'm like, I don't know. Maybe it's not as bad as everybody <laughs> makes it out to be. Like, maybe if you're just like responsible, it's really not that big a deal. If if you're, if you're prepared for it and you and you do everything you need to do to make sure that you're you're good to go, it, it's just generally speaking a pretty good time, you know, barring any uh, extenuating circumstances. Like, oh no, my child is like you know, some kind of deformity or, like, uh, mental thing or whatever, you know, like, obviously if that happens, like, that's, that's a lot more extra work, but, like, at, you know, at that point, you can't really be like, well, can we return it, <laughs> you know, like, you can't, that's not really, it doesn't work like that, um, so it's kind of, it's kind of a risk you take, and I'll say it's a risk, okay, people get mad at me when I say it's a risk, You're like, oh, it's not a risk, you know, it's just, it's just, it's part of, it's part of life, no, it's like, it's a risk, <laughs> if your child is physically deformed or, um, or, uh, you know, has, like, autism or OCD or Downs or, you know, whatever, right? Like, whatever. Like that That's a risk, and it's going to make it harder for both you as the parents and the child. It, it, no, nobody is the better for it. And, you know, you can't really return it. You're not going to want to return it. <laughs> it. Um, you're not going to want to return the baby. Um, obviously, because, like, it's your baby. Um, and, you know, you're going to live with it, and you're not going to be upset about it. I mean, you might be upset about it, but like, anyway, it's like, whatever. Um, now that's full of time. But it's just, uh, yeah, I, 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 seeing it be handled so well, and I'm like, I don't know, maybe all these people who are talking about how hard it is just didn't bother getting their baby stuff ready until like, they had the baby, they're like, oh crap, we need a crib, you know, like, maybe, maybe the hard part is, is when you just, you don't really prepare yourself for it, you don't really learn what you need to know, and 
you know, if you do what you need to do and you're responsible and you're handling it well, then maybe it's like just not really that hard. You know, like obviously you're, you're raising a human child, like it's it's not easy, but like I don't know. I just uh, I thought your leg was like being stretched. I'm just uh, I'm looking at it. I'm thinking I don't know. Maybe 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 it's not that big a deal. And then, then I remember, like, I can never physically have a child, and I'm like, wow, that kind of stinks. I'm still on the fence about it, but, like, it would be nice to have the option. So, I don't know. That's that's how my weekend's gone, though, is, uh, is this internal debate within myself. But, like, do I want a child? Do I not want a child? Would I want this? Would I not want this? I don't know. I can kind of go either way. But it, it is the first time I've uh, I've seen, you know, having a child in such a positive light. Or when I've seen the experience of having a newborn portrayed in such a positive light, you know, every time I, I see it otherwise, everybody's, you know, like I said, always being negative about it. And I don't know why everybody's always negative about it. You'd think that they'd be more positive about it. But, like, even you, you talk to, like, people who are, like, hardcore, you know, like, every person must have a baby. You're not complete without a baby. You know, like, those, those kind of, like, mommy vloggers kind of thing. Like, you know, that harass you if you don't have a child, you don't want a child. Like, you're not a real person. You know, even them. Even they are like, you need a baby, like, yeah, it's going to ruin your life, but, like, it's not complete without it. Your ruined life is still more complete. I'm like, but why? <laughs> why? And, uh, yeah, it's my first time seeing it portrayed in such a positive light, and, uh, that's, that's kind of affected me in, in a large, in a large way, which is, is, is weird and completely unexpected for for a, uh, a YouTuber I watched to, to, to have a baby to, to affect me in such a large way, but I mean it has. You know, I can't I can't deny that uh, it's uh, it, it's had an effect on me because it has. And I don't think it's too unusual. You know, people in your life having children and and what people in your life doing things, you know, not necessarily like in your life, but like people I don't know that you pay attention to <laughs> um, doing things and 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 being happy about them is is kind of how you decide whether or not you would want to try something too, right? It's so that kind of like second, third hand kind of like anecdotes that that really make you you make your decisions on these kinds of things. At least, at least in my opinion, I, th I think that that's a, a big part of what's. Uh... Hello. I think that's a big part of uh, like how we make our decisions and how we decide what uh, what things we might be excited about, and what things we might not be excited about, and and uh, you know, kind of our our perspective on things is is affected in a great deal by that. And, uh, yeah, it's just, it's been, it's been a weird weekend for me, man. It's been, it's been a really weird weekend. <laughs> it was, it was not the weekend I was expecting, I'll put it that way. I didn't get my, um, my, uh, my spreadsheet made for the, uh, the achievements and all that. I just, like, it completely slipped my mind, honestly. So I'm gonna do that probably later today, and then we'll get started on the achievement stuff tomorrow, but I didn't, I didn't do it this weekend. I, I like, it just, it completely slipped my mind. I loaded up KF2 today. To, to record this episode, and I was like, "All right, yeah, I had to make that uh, that spreadsheet thing so that we could uh, have uh, our achievements going on." And I just did, I didn't do that, so I'll do it later. It's not like that much work, um, and I like making spreadsheets. I have a lot of fun with that, so you know, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll do it later. And that's that's not putting it off. Like I have I have work to do. I can't I can't do it right now. I have to record and then stream, and then uh, I'll be able to I'll be able to do it later. But I will do it later. It will be done. And then I'll be able to share it with you people, and you people will be like, wow, I don't really play KF2 at all, but uh, that's really cool if I did. <laughs> Probably, right? How many of you guys do, uh, do you guys actually play KF2? How many, how many of you people actually, like, on the regular play KF2? So I feel like it's got to be a pretty big portion of you, right? I feel like, I feel like it's got to be. Because, I mean... My videos ain't super popular yet. There, there, there isn't a, a huge amount of, uh, of talk on the internet about, uh, you know, you don't go to, like, reddit.com slash, like, you know, entertainment, and then people are like, hey, what do you do for entertainment? And, like, you know, half the people there are like, oh, well, you know, I just watched this YouTuber. She's called Yamajack. Uh, no, it doesn't really, that doesn't really happen. You know, there, there isn't a lot of, uh, I, don't, I don't get that kind of stuff. So I think that a lot of people are finding me are finding me because of KF2. Um, rather than because of me, you know, which is, is sad. Um, so, so probably a great portion of my viewer base tends to play KF2. But 
At the same time, I've been making KF2 videos for so long. I mean, how many people... Like, do you guys play the same game for that long? Like, I've been making KF2 videos for... I mean, this is like, what, 337 or something? 338? 340-ish? Like, what does is, what is, what is that boil down to? Like, five months? Six months or something of video making? I don't remember, dude. Um, five or six months of video making, which is, uh, is a crazy amount of time, for one. Um, you, be dead. you know how many people are still playing KF2 after all that time, you know? I mean, normally I sure as heck wouldn't. I sure as heck don't normally play games for that long. I get bored of them after, like, a few months. Which is, which is what I've said, like, so many times that KF2, this, this series is so incredible for me. Because it's, uh... I've stuck with it, and uh, I've shown that I can, and that's kind of cool, but how many of you guys actually play KF2 on the regular? I don't know. I don't get to see that kind of uh, statistic, you know? My Google Analytics stuff, it, it shows me a lot, like how you guys are actually reasonably old. <laughs> you guys are old, man! Uh, how you guys are actually reasonably, uh, or are you lying about your ages? That, that's another possibility. But you guys are old, man, according to my YouTube analytics, and you're mostly men. Gosh darned men. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't. I shouldn't be making jokes at the expense of my viewer base. But it's, it's just all I'm seeing, watching my videos is like retirement homes. Except it's like you know, it's like a whole bunch of men sitting around, like you know, old men in a retirement home sitting around watching football. Except it's like my videos up there, <laughs> and uh, that's that's all I'm imagining right now. That's all I'm imagining. That's what my Google Analytics tells me. Okay. No, they don't. My people aren't in retirement homes. You guys, you guys aren't in, uh, in retirement homes yet. But uh, yeah, it's a. Uh, I don't. I don't get to see you know the the KF2 kind of player base. You know, it doesn't overlap with Steam. There's no uh, Steam integration on my Google Analytics. Man, we are out of bullets. I have really wasted a lot of bullets here. I don't. I don't get to see that. So how many? How many of you guys actually play KF2? I play KF2. I play KF2 a lot. I don't know if you've noticed, but it, it's like it's it's a pretty big part of what I do on a, on a day to day basis. Actually, it's probably the game that I play uh, the most regularly. I might I might even argue that. The Amajack tries didn't go so great this weekend. I mean, I just I couldn't find games to play, and I didn't want to. <laughs> is the thing, which is you know it'll happen sometimes. That's the Amajack tries for you. If I, if I ever want to have like a break or whatever, that's that's the series that tends to just get yeeted. <laughs> Sometimes I just don't feel like doing it. I'm excited to do it today though. I've got uh, no games lined up. I have to go figure out what we're gonna be playing. But I'm excited to try some new games today. You know, after the end, uh, after the weekend, I get to kind of sit down and get excited about everything again. So it feels good, and I'm excited to to find some games. And even if these suck, I just I, I love trying new games. So it's 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 good fun, even if they suck. And even if I hate them, and even if we only play them for 20 minutes before I go like, ah, oh, yeah, I'm just I'm really not having fun. I really just, I really just don't want to play this anymore. Even if I do that, I'm still like, yeah, but it was like, it was it was a good experience. It was a positive experience, even if the game itself kind of sucked. Just give me 2048, man. But I, yeah, how'd your weekends go? Did you guys have uh, weekends quite as eye-opening as I did? You were over there, right? You went down that way. Why'd you go down that way? Shoot me. Where am I? What am I stuck on? What am I stuck on? What am I stuck on? Help, 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 help. Okay, she's 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 done and dusted. I really love the new matriarch skin. Like honestly, like I don't normally like the uh, the KF2 like you know event skins and stuff, but like Dude, the Halloween skins are pretty sick, though. Nah, you're not doing that. Like, the uh, the Han skin is just amazingly, like, cool. And the Matriarch skin is super, super funny. I don't like the normal Zed skins. The normal Zed skins suck. But the boss skins... In, uh, other than the Abomination... Other than the Abomination, I think the boss skins in this uh, event are, like, just on point. The Abomination skin is, is like, couldn't be more off point. <laughs> it couldn't be farther off point. Dang, dude, it's like 
raining money over there. Holy crap. What the heck happened to that one? You see that little green speck floating up there? Alright. <laughs> anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thanks for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. That's not the right button.